It's easy to start a business, but how do you stay motivated and not lose momentum as things get tough? Maybe you've been doing it for a few years, but now you just don't have the fire, the same fire that you had when you first got started. So what do you do? I believe the number one reason why most entrepreneurs, most people lose momentum is they have unrealistic expectations. The day you started your business, you thought, you know what? I am going to build something successful because it's all part of the plan. No one gets into a business to fail. Let me give it one year. Let me give it two years. Then I'll be able to provide for my family. Then I'll have the dream lifestyle that I've always wanted to have. And then guess what? It doesn't happen the first year. It doesn't happen the second year. And it doesn't happen the third year. Now you're thinking, does this thing really work? Is it worth my time? Should I still stay on track? Should I change course? What should I do? Then before you know it, you lose momentum, you lose focus. Focus, focus, focus. How do you keep yourself going? I always say this, what you want to do is you want to be very, very impatient with your skills and be very patient with your results. Do you know most entrepreneurs become successful in 10 to 15 years? 10 to 15 years, just think about it. If you've been only doing it for a few years, that's not a long time. But when people get into business because of social media, they see someone successful. They thought just by seeing someone successful that they could do it just because they see other people's result, their outcome, the fruit of the labor. Wow, then I can do it in two, three years. It gives them the illusion of ease. It is not easy. So it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really hard. 10 to 15 years, you have to ask yourself, are you willing to dedicate 10 to 15 years to your business? Are you willing to sacrifice for your business? Usually an entrepreneur actually becomes successful when they sell their business, when there's an exit and they've been working towards that for years, if not decades. So when you understand that, when you have realistic expectation, then you're not thinking, you know what? Two years, three years, oh man, I don't know if I'm good at this. Maybe I should give up. Maybe I should try something else. It's supposed to take you 10 to 15 years. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now, it doesn't mean you could not be making a profit during the time. It doesn't mean you could not have a decent lifestyle while you're building a business. However, to get to that pinnacle of success, that takes time. Think about in any other areas of life, music, entertainment, sports, anybody who has achieved quote unquote success how many years it takes them, if not decades. It's no different in business. It takes that long of a time. So you have to be very realistic. So don't let your result dictate your self-worth. You want to be very impatient with your skills, meaning you can't wait to become better. You cannot wait to learn more. You cannot wait to read that book. You want to be impatient with your skills. You want to be obsessive with learning. You want to be a very dedicated student. You want to read that book. You want to listen to that podcast, watch that video, attend that workshop, whatever that you could do to become better. Be very impatient with your skills, business skills, how to lead, how to build a team, how to negotiate, how to sell, how to market, all those skill sets. And then you want to be patient with your results. It takes time. Give yourself a little bit of time. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't be so attached to the outcome. If it doesn't happen in 30 days, oh, then I suck. No, give yourself time. It takes years, 10 to 15 years. That's the time frame. That is a typical time frame if you are successful and some never mix it. But with that kind of expectations and you are extremely impatient with improving yourself with your skills, then chances of you losing momentum, it's a lot less because now you know what it takes. Now you can see the destination. Now you know, okay, it's gonna take me that much time. I'm gonna dedicate myself, honing my skill sets, become the best entrepreneur that I could be. Every day, you know, you're trying to become better, trying to be the best version of yourself. And now you'll make it. Now the chances of you succeeding is much higher than everybody else. Why? Most people give up too early. Success is on the razor's edge of failure. 
And within our YouTube membership, you could tap on the link below. I equip you with business skills. How do you sell? How do you market? How do you utilize social media? How do you build a team? What does it take step by step on how to build your business? What are some of the books that I have read that had a profound impact in my business career that I would recommend you to read? Also, every single month within the YouTube membership, you and I will get on a live Q&A. So you can ask questions directly, get coaching and advice from me. So tap on the link below and always remember, that success is on the razor's edge of failure. When you think it couldn't get any worse, when you think it couldn't get any darker, there's no way this would get any worse. This is the rock bottom. You're that close. You are just that close. If you just hang on a little longer and don't give up, and boom, that's when breakthrough happens. Hi, this is Dan Locke. We're looking to invest $10 million in 100 tech startups in the next three years. You could be one of them. If you are a founder of a tech startup, if you are looking for financial capital, guidance, and mentorship, go to www.danlockventures.com to see if you qualify.